Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and it's time for Pokemon that we need to see in Unite Speedster Edition. I want to thank Barley Oats for helping wrangle all these Late concepts up for this graphic. video and everyone for making these and submitting them to the wishes and theories section on the Discord. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first Pokemon is going to be Dracovish. Again, these are all Speedsters today, so we're going to be going through different Speedsters we could see in the game. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And before we hop into this and continue listening to 80s synth music, a word from today's sponsor. Hey Ridge Wallet, now that it's just me and you alone, I needed to let you know something. I've been thinking about this for a long time and I love you. <laughs> I know, I love you. I feel like I've kind of always loved you and it's not only because you have a lifetime guarantee. That's amazing, but it's not just that. It's not that you come in so many different styles and colors. It's not just that. It's not just the tens of thousands of five star reviews. Don't get me wrong, that's great. But what I really love about you is how you make me feel. Given that you're smaller, so you're small in my pocket and it feels like I'm not carrying around a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I just needed to tell you that I love you. Oh, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. Head over to ridge.com slash spraggles for 15% off. I'm telling you, it's a great wallet. If you heard anything about me being in love with it, that's crazy. I'm not in love with a wallet. Except maybe this wallet. Again, thanks to Ridge for the support. Use Spraggles as a coupon code when you check out for 15% off. Let's hop into our first Pokemon right here, our Speedster Dracovish. It's, base, it's basic attack. User bashes its head against the opponents twice and then chomps down on them for a boosted. Boosted basics reduce the cooldowns of move two and ability cooldown and heals the user. Its passive is strong jaw. When the user uses move one, it increases the Pokemon's attack stat by 50% for 10 seconds, and then it goes on cooldown. So this Pokemon concept is really cool, by the way. Uh, concept by Tries. Thank you, Tries. Uh, this Pokemon is really cool. Its Unite move is pretty nuts. I wanted to start with this one because this is one of the more unique concepts that I saw. So let's talk about its first two moves. Rain Dance and Bite. Rain Dance, hold down the button to summon a rain cloud above the Pokemon that boosts its speed and relieves allies of status effects, which is kind of a cool way for uh, you know a speedster to work. The move increases Dracovish's speed while in use. If the button is just tapped, it summons a rain cloud over a large area. If Dracovish is in the rain, it increases its speed stat and relieves uh, allies of status effects. And then bite. User bites down against the opponents, causing them not being able to act for a short while. So this first move gives like a quick stun on a seven second cooldown. So these are its two moves. And a lot of this will make more sense when you kind of see how this Pokemon's Unite move works as it goes later into this. But let's take a look at uh, the upgrades here. So the first move upgrades at level five. It either goes into dive or dragon rush. Dive. Dive down into the ground as Dracovish runs deep in the water. Press again to rise out of the water, damaging opponents who are in the area. Water will slash back down, damaging those who are hit by it. User can move freely during dive. So it kind of sounds like the, you know, this character's version of Fly, basically, which is really cool. I love that Pokemon Unite has four different characters with Surf and they all work differently. I would love to see more moves like this work differently for each character. Uh, and then the upgrade on dive increases dive duration and area that the water splashes. Dragon Rush, on the other hand, user coats itself with a blue energy which forms a giant dragon as it buffs the user's speed stat and damages opponents who touch the dragon for a short while. So kind of like Crustle's Unite move a little bit there. Tap the button again to disperse the dragon, causing effects to wear off and damage opponents while dispersing. User can use other moves while in Dragon Rush. Uh, and level 11 heals every time an opponent is hit by the blue energy. So both of these moves are very, very cool. Um, I think for me, just because of how easy it would be to steal objectives probably with dive, I would love to use dive. But looking at our next move upgrades, uh, we either have Vicious Rend or Super Fang. 
So the, uh, our first option, user bites down with a great force causing the opponent Pokemon to flinch. If the user is under 50% of their max HP, this move will deal 2x damage. So this is sort of setting up big KO moments with this move. It also reduces cooldowns and heals the user at level 13. And then Super Fang, the other option, user chomps the enemy Pokemon, damaging, grabbing them, and throwing them to the side. If enemies are thrown into a wall, they cannot act for a short while. User will do increased damage if opponents are under 50% of their max HP. So it's kind of two big KO moves right here. And then level 13 will do increased damage if opponents are below 65% HP. So a bigger opportunity to use it. Now, t check this out. Check this Unite move out. Mish, mash, miss, hap. Boy, that's a hard one for me to say. User has six seconds to re-choose its moves between Dive, Dragon Rush, Vicious Rend, and Super Fang. The moves will do increased damage for a short while, and then they will the moves swap and damage buffs last 15 seconds, and then the moves return to normal afterwards. This move grants Dracovish a shield. This is so freaking cool. The idea of this is so cool and not unbelievable i think this is totally possible to see inside the game i just love this idea that you have a move set that you want to use normally but then when you go into your unite move it's almost like a little bit of a, a hoopa vibe right where you go into your unite move and then all of a sudden you decide no i'm switching up my moves right now i'm going to do damage with this and then go back to the way i was so this was one of the coolest concepts that i saw uh, recently, and I just really loved how the Unite move worked, so I had to bring this one to you. Possible new speedster coming to Unite. I think this is a really cool call. Let's move on to our next Pokemon. I feel like this is one of the most requested Pokemon to come into Unite, Zoroark. I think so many people want to see this Pokemon right here. It would be a great call for a speedster. It's uh, got a, it's obviously a two-stage evolution. I don't actually see the levels on here at which they evolve, but I'm guessing maybe Five, based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, all right, so let's go into its moves. Its basic attack effect changes based on the user's learned moves. Night Days, so if you have Night Days, this Pokemon gains a stack of boosted attack when it hits an opposing Pokemon with a move. At four stacks, the user unleashes a wave of dark energy that pierces enemies and leaves them unable to act. So pretty cool, a nice little stun there once you kind of stack up your boosteds. Or if you have Night Slash, every third attack will become a boosted where the user slashes through the target, boosted attacks will always crash. So it's kind of like an Aegis Slash dash through with a guaranteed crit. It's uh, passive here. When this Pokemon uses Imprison or Agility, so it's second set of moves, or stands in a bush for two seconds, they will enter Stealth Mode. Stealth Mode ends when this Pokemon takes damage, deals damage, or after three seconds. This is actually pretty common in MOBAs to have a character that acts like this. So I'm not surprised to see an ability like this, but man, Having a stealthy assassin, I I just can't imagine what's gonna happen in solo queue if something like this pops in. It would be very, very cool. Let's talk about our first move, Scratch. The user scratches with sharp claws, dealing damage to the opposing Pokemon within range, so just a basic damage attack. And then Hone Claws, its second move, the user sharpens its claws, which raises its attack for a short time. So it sounds like when it starts, you're not doing too much until you get your level five. So this is probably a Pokemon that you're gonna see in that central area, obviously. Taking a look here, uh, you get either Night Days or Night Slash, both of which we talked about. Night Days, the user's basic attack speed is increased and the basic attacks release pulses of ominous energy. After being hit by four pulses, opposing Pokemon will be left unable to act for a short time and it reduces cooldown when it gets on its uh, upgraded. Night Slash, the user jumps in the target direction, then dashes at the target and delivers a slash with razor sharp claws. If the target's KO'd, the user dashes to another opposing Pokemon. This move is a high critical hit ratio Ooh, and then it's plus is increases crit ratio after the user uh, uses this I mean I don't know I'm kind of in love with the idea of night slash just the combos that you could make off that seem insanely cool uh, the other two moves, obviously, we talked about also briefly because of its passive, Agility or Imprison. So Agility, the user dashes in the targeted direction and triggers a boosted attack effect. Also increases the user's attack speed for a short time, and Agility Plus increases the di increases the distance. I really love this, especially with comboing, you know, with being stealth and things like that. This could set up some amazing KO situations. Imprison, the user silences the target, prevents them from using moves for a period of time. Depending on who's on the enemy team, 
Imprison could be so insanely good. You know, Imprison could also be good against the Pokemon like Greninja, who you know is gonna try to surf or is gonna try to use its dash to get away. And then all of a sudden, you know, Greninja without anything to move is kind of in trouble. So I think this could be a really amazing move for something like that as well. Or of course, you run up to a Gengar. If Gengar can't hit you with a Shadow Ball Dream Eater, what's it gonna do, right? It's Unite move Dark Mirage. The user blinds all opposing Pokemon currently on the map. This is really cool. So it's a global blind ability. I mean, using this around a Zapdos fight would just be so incredibly good. The thing I love about this is it doesn't do any damage. It's just a complete crazy hindrance on the enemy. And I honestly think it could set up some amazing plays. This concept was by Exora. Thank you so much for this concept. I mean, I think this is probably one of the most requested Pokemon when people talk about speedsters. I really think they would be foolish not to add this or the Hisuian form into the game very soon. Our next Pokemon is Floatzel. If you know me, you know I love water Pokemon, so I, I had to get two of them here in this video. Floatzel concept by Grysark. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm not. Uh, another speedster, like I said, all speedsters all day. Buizel at level one and then Floatzel at level five. It's basic attack. The user punches as basic attacks. The third becoming boosted, turning and hitting around, spinning their tails. Succeed non-boosted basic attacks, recharge 0.2 seconds of Ice Punch. Succeeded boosted basic attacks, recharge 0.5 seconds of Aqua Jet. So you kind of have an option of are you gonna go Ice Punch or Aqua Jet? Are you gonna hit more boosteds or basics? And how are they going to help you reset your moves here? The ability for this Pokemon, Swift Swim, when the user is hit by a water move or uses a water move, so this is really interesting, their movement speed is highly increased, goes on cooldown uh, once every 20 seconds once it's triggered. So this is really cool because uh, I love the idea of when it's hit by a water move, that just adds another layer to the game that they haven't played around with yet, which is typing at all, but I think they could do some really cool stuff with it. And this is a nice little dipping their toe in the pool, if you will, of playing around with some typing stuff. Uh, first two moves, quick attack and swift. Uh, quick attack, Buizel dashes forward, dealing low damage and stopping on the first, uh, stopping on the first enemy hit. It can use it more, one more time when it finishes or swift. Buizel selects a target, then shoots three magic stars that hit the enemy one after the other, dealing damage. It's a sure hit. It needs to be a sure hit. The idea that we have two Swifts inside Pokemon Unite and neither of them makes sense given how Pokemon works, I just think it's pretty funny. All right, our first move upgrades at level four while you're still Buizel is Aqua Jet or Ice Punch, as we talked about a moment ago. Aqua Jet, the user surrounds itself with water, like in the anime, LOL, and dashes three times from side to side, like a zigzag, dealing damage with each dash. Can control slightly the direction of each dash, but it will always be right, left, right. That sounds super fun this dash move. And at level 10, the range of the dashes slightly increases and deals more damage. Or Ice Punch. Ice Punch is also a dash. Has the user leap forward. If it hits an enemy, they punch them and jump over their head, landing behind them. The enemy is frozen while Buizel or Floatzel does the pirouette. Uh, level 10, enemies are now slowed afterwards. So this kind of reminds me of uh, Sucker Punch by Absol a little bit. Sounds like I'm talking about a band. Uh, this next uh, track, uh, Sucker Punch by Absol. So Sucker Punch by Absol, uh, except you just have to hit them with it. You don't actually have to wait, them for, uh, wait for them to use a move. Your next two moves are Waterfall and Brine. Waterfall is an area attack. Floatzel creates a waterfall that rises from the ground on a designated location. Any enemies hit by the wave will receive damage and be knocked up. Then Floatzel leaps to them, performing a sure hit that hits them when they land. If more than one enemy is thrown up, Floatzel leaps only to the nearest one and the area of the first hit is bigger. I mean, depending on how this works, that's one of those moves where you hear it and you think, that's incredibly cool, depending on how they put it into the game, that could be one of the funnest moves. Brine is a sure hit. Floatzel selects a target, launches towards them, hits them with a watery punch, and returns the initial location. Then, if the enemy's health is below 50%, a fierce rain falls on them, dealing numerous hits of high damage. Ooh, ooh, that's mean. And now this effect triggers when the enemy's below 70% health once it upgrades. And now let's talk about its Unite 
Bring the floats. At level eight, it gets its Unite move, by the way. A huge water path appears in the field in front of Floatzel, increasing the movement speed of allies and decreasing movement speed of enemies who walk in top of it. Inside the area, Floatzel deals increased damage and has all cooldowns halves. So this is setting up a huge landing strip, basically, that nobody wants to fight you in. You become this crazy beast. I love the idea of that. I think that's very, very cool. I think probably my favorite move here, it might actually be Ice Punch. I just think that's really, really fun. Although Aqua Jet also, the way Aqua Jet works, it might just be so frustrating for enemies. So I think that's really, really cool. Awesome concept for Float Soul. We got one more. Our final concept for today's video from the Relic comes Kecleon. Hey, Kecleon, you're a speedster. Uh, its basic attack swipes with its claws. Every third attack deals more damage and has a higher critical hit chance. Color change is its ability. Remains in stealth for three seconds after leaving a bush. Kecleon's scoring speed and damage are increased if invisible. The idea that it scores faster if it's invisible and it just needs to hide into a bush for a little bit, I mean, yeah, this could be so insane. It's two moves. Scratch and Thief are the ones it starts with. Swipes a claw forward, increasing critical hit chance. And then Thief jumps forward and attacks the opposing Pokemon, jumping back after landing. Kecleon gains the effect of the opponent's battle item. <laughs> That's... That's insane. That could be really, really nuts. Uh, at level four, it upgrades either Slash or Shadow Claw. Slash, heavy slash forward. The more the opposing Pokemon that gets hit with this, the higher the critical chances. Oh, the more opposing Pokemon, excuse me. So if you hit multiple enemies, you have a higher crit chance, and then it increases the crit rate for a short duration afterwards once it upgrades at level 10. Shadow Claw, the other option, Kecleon disappears, becoming invisible and gaining additional move speed for a short duration. The next basic attack becomes a boosted attack, dealing damage in a wide area around Kecleon. That's very cool. And then level 10, the next three basic attacks become boosted. That might be crazy. Three attacks all going in boosted and every single one of them has a high crit chance, right? Hmm. That's pretty nuts. Okay. After Thief upgrades at level 6, you can choose either Faint Attack or Shadow Sneak. Faint Attack is a sure hit, 7 second cooldown, disappears and reappears behind the opposing Pokemon. If this knocks the Pokemon out, Kecleon becomes invisible. Oh, that's so mean. That's so mean if you knock someone out and then you just walk away invisible. Especially if you're on low health and you knock someone out in the back line of the enemy and you're just like, do, 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 and walk away. Uh, it increases the duration of the, of the effect at level 12. Shadow Sneak, our other option, another sure hit. Kecleon's shadow darts across the ground towards an opposing Pokemon. Kecleon pops out of the shadow, attacks the target, dealing damage and gaining the effect of the opponent's battle item. Adds 10 seconds to the cooldown of the battle item. And then at level 12, reduces battle item cooldown by 10 seconds just kind of crazy the things that it wants to do with thief and shadow sneak it could be so incredibly mean it's uh upgrade excuse me it's unite move shopkeepers delight so this was one of the more interesting unite moves that i saw beans appear around kecleon allies that pick up the beans are healed for 20 percent of their health and have their movement speed increased for a short duration. Opposing Pokemon take damage and are slowed temporarily. So this is just such a unique move. I kind of love the idea of throwing this in a crazy fight and enemies are accidentally walking on these beans or allies run to them to heal. I think it's just such a cool Pokemon and super, super unique, which is why I wanted to bring it to you as our final speedster we talk about today. I'd love to hear in the comments, which has been your favorite speedster that we've seen today. And of the ones we've talked about, uh, excuse me, of the ones we have not talked about, what is a speedster you would like to see in the game? Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy this. I love doing these videos. I need to, of course, do them more often. There are tons of great theories and uh, creations that everyone puts together on the Discord. So thank you, everyone, for those. I will see you all very soon. I love you all. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.